한나 너도 토크 진짜 아, 많이 한다 뭐 먹고 어? 와 이거 피해 영화 진짜 이거 해배? 방송 잘해라 네네 하나는 여기 이상 올라가 야 여기 줄 명심해 잘해 됐다 
던지고 하나 흘린다. 해요. 그냥 던지고 강수. 야, 잘 맞췄다. 됐다. 잘했다. 잘 됐다. 잡아야지. 잡아야지. 잡자. 잡자. 오케이. 골. 강수. 자 다시 한번 더. 오 강수 잘하는데. 다 틀렸어. <웃음> 이게 해야지. 혹시 이어폰 같은 거 끼고 해도 돼요? 혹시 이어폰 같은 거 끼고 해도 돼요? 아, 여기서는 뭐, 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 저 지나면 뭐예요? 그래, 빨리, 빨리 해, 빨리 아까 여기 있잖아. 가족이랑 똑같아. 나 이기는 거 이기는 거 빨리 잘 차려보시고 빨리. 빨리 할게 할게요. 나기다. 아 미쳤는데. 뭐라? 아니 되게 얄미운 스타일이네. 되게 좋아. 나한테. 치마아 도라마 사장아 나가지 마 맨날 나야 나가지 마 맨날 나야 혼났다 혼나셨어 오케이 그러면 다이가 유시 나오면 되는 거야? 나는 그런 분이 없어. 나는 그런 분이 없어. 할수 있어, 할수 있어, 할수 있어. 유시! 한번 더해, 한번 더해. 유시! 유시! 한번 더해, 한번 더해. 한번 더해, 한번 더해. 걸, 다이야, 걸. 걸은 걸이다. 
우리 집에 가자. 아니 못 간다 진짜 오늘. 아무라도 돼. 아무라도 나 오래 때려. 뭐 나기다. 나기다. 아니 저할 때면 유독 방해가 크시잖아. 아니 나나 약간 날부러 생각하시는 것 같아. 아 나기다 유독 약간 좀 닮았어. 닮았어. 젊었을 때 웃음이 어떻게든 닮을 수 없지. 어 닮았어 느낌이. 이거 이거 이제 하늘이 도와주는 거야. 강수야 너한테 달렸어. 강수야 너한테 달렸어. 강수야 너한테 달렸어. 여기서 나오기만 하면. 아니 아니요. 아무라도 돼. 백투만 나오면 돼. 강수야 너한테 달렸어. 강수야 제발. 이거 이제 하늘이 도와주고 있는 거야. 지금 하늘이 도와주고. 강수야 너한테 달렸어. 여기서 나오기만 하면. 아니 아니요. 아무라도 돼. 백투만 나오면 돼. 강수야 너한테 달렸어. 강수야 제발. 이거 이제 하늘이 도와주고 있는 거야. 지금 하늘이 도와주고. 너한테 달렸어. 너한테 달렸어. 야! 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 너 승마이지? 야, 뭔데 낙이야? 승마이지? 뭔데 낙이야? 너 진짜 똥손이구나. 아. 아, 아, 도저 못하겠습니다. 가수. 야, 너, 야, 무슨 짓이야. 아, 그냥 끝이었는데. 백터요? 백터? 알겠습니다. 백터다! 백터다! 승리하셨고요. 이번은 축하드립니다. 저희 한 게임만 더 해주실 수 있으십니까? 저희 한 게임만 더 해주실 수 있으십니까? 저희가 이번 경기는 좀 너무 저희가, 저희가 모르 조금 자제해서 할게요. 막 너무 좋아하지도 않고 이렇게 할게요. 그래서 저 아유 원래 이 게임은요. 예. 삼판이 승리. 삼판이 승리. 칠십오점입니다 이곳에. 역시 윤놀이 장인이세요. 이분들 지금 당장 이견문화를 선정합시다. 윤놀이 마을로 선정합시다. 대타로 우리 어머니 아이고 우리 아유, 어머니 안녕하세요. 감사합니다. 여기 네네 네, 여기 맞습니다. 아, 어머니 룰은 대충 보셨죠? 나 <웃음> 못해. 감사합니다. 괜찮아요 어머니. 네. 여기요. 네. 야 걸러면 안 되는데. 여기 위로 다지셔야 돼요 어머니. 오. 오. 걸 잡아. 걸. 걸 잡아. 아 어머니 지금 보시면서 아나 이거 유찰 못 하는디 이러면서 못 하는디. 못 하는디. 내가 그거 더. 웃는 걸 잘하시더라고. 
지금 지원해준 것 같은데. 원래 그런 게 있어. 이게 법이야. 오케이, 오케이. 우리가 성공할 수 있어. 형, 너 뭔가 지금 정신이 혼미해지지. 잠 시작했어. 제일 궁금한 게 이분들이 지금 성공해서 사시는 분들 맞아요? 아니에요? 야, 우리도 거기 가자. 거기 가야 돼. 뭘 자꾸 그냥 옆 방만 타는 거야? 콜라 이제. 콜. 오케이. 저걸로 망쳐. 저 저거 이걸로 망쳐. 하나. 아, 이걸로. 이동. 좋았다. 이렇게 하는 거 맞지? 맞죠. 네네. 아, 그동안 그렇게 큰일 날 뻔했네. 그렇지. 6만 명 나왔나 봐. 근데 우리 문제가 뭔지 알아? 나갈 때가 그래, 하나. 과정은 좋아. 아니야. 과정이 너무 좋은데. 일단은 하나로 여기 있어. 잘하다가 고. 고. 좋네. 고. 좋네. 한번더 해야 돼. 뭐야? 강지야, 내가 너한테 줬어. 뭐하는 거? 뭐하는 거? 진짜. 아, 진짜 나 이거 진짜 진짜 못 하겠어. 강지야, 내가 너한테 준 거야. 아, 나한테 줬어. 야, 너한테 선택은 없어. 먼저. 너한테 달려서. 야, 못 하겠다. 아, 다 같이 도전해 주세요. <웃음> 기모아, 기모아, 기모아. 아, 얘할때 이제 끝내지. 아, 아니, 오빠 옷 지금 딱 괜찮아. 기모 났어. 해보자. 자, 셋! 아, 뭐 하는 거야? 하나, 둘, 셋! 도전! 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 괜찮아, 이건 너안 걸릴 수가 없는 거 저는 무조건 간다고 생각하면 돼요. 저 걸렸어요. 그리고 마지막 강한나 씨는 양쪽 참치를 썼습니다. 그렇게 해서. 야, 아니, 그럼 니네 가봐. 야, 그러면 지금 어떻게 하는 거야? 양쪽 씨의 최다 득표자로. 큰눈으로 이렇게 갖도록 하겠습니다. 아니, 내가 뭘 잘못, 그렇게 뭘 잘못했냐? 하하. 와. 아, 사랑하는 지석진. 야, 이런 씨. 하나씩 발표하겠습니다. 홍진영, 광수, 진짜? 김종구, 광수, 이다희, 네. 너 
진짜 가만 안 있어. 주방수. 이름 무슨 건데? 아, 통했네. 이광수 씨. 이 광수. 진짜? 야. 진짜? 진짜? 급하게 붙여서 된 이광수. 야. 대박이다. 왜 이럴 줄 알았어. 다이가 열려게. 그래. 와 마지막이구나. 자, 일단 그러면 오늘 정해지는 겁니까 이거? 네, 정해지는 야, 거고요. 자 그래서 이제 마지막 몸서리 패키지 멤버를 결정할 런닝볼 추첨을 진행할 텐데요. 그 전에 한 가지를 추가를 좀 공개하겠습니다. 러닝볼 추첨했을 때 이미 몸서리 패키지 확정된 멤버의 이름이 중복되어 나올 거예요. 예를 들어 양세찬 씨가 처음에 뽑았는데 또 양세찬 씨가 네, 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 네. 라면 해당 멤버가 지목한 1인이 몸서리 패키지 멤버로 확정됩니다. 지목한 1인이 몸서리 패키지 멤버로 확정됩니다. 네? 내가 지목하는 거야? 또 나. 양세찬이 계속 지목하겠는데? 야, 안 걸릴 생각 해야지. 다 준비해. 다. 야, 안 걸릴 생각 해. 다, 다 준비해. 긴장들 하라고 다. 전부 다 알았어? 안 걸릴 생각을 해야지. 야, 너이 와중에 종국이 형을 왜안 찍냐? 아니, 야, 너이 와중에 종국이 형을 왜안 찍냐? 아니, 진짜 안 찍냐? 이거 부러질 것 같아. 갔다가 부러질 것 같아서 이렇게 갔어. 전부 다 알았어? 전부 다 알았어? 부러질 것 같아서 이렇게 갔어. 야, 어, 너왜 아까처럼 안 해? 어, 이게 안 되더라고. 이게, 이게. 아, 그리고 홍보받은 종국이한테 메시지도 많이 전하고 왔어. 그거 편집된 거 아니야? 아니지, 아니지. 너 나한테 몇 세일 전했어? 역시 녀석. 형이 꼭 챙겨볼게. 종국이 네. 아, 없으니까 너무 좋다. 고맙습니다, 김종국. 김종국 생각 어디까지 얻었지? 조심해, 김종국 형. 보고 있나? 보고 있나? 역시 녀석. 형이 꼭 챙겨볼게. 그래. 네? 아, 소민이도 그렇고 너 한나도 너한테 메시지 하나 나네. 아, 그래? 아, 그럼. 잘못한 것 같아. 오케이. 오케이. 오케이 나왔다. 너무 돼요? 네. 아, 네. 가자. 단어요. 야, 세찬이 너무 많아. 오늘, 오늘 주인공이다. 오늘 세찬이가 주인공이, 주인공이겠다. 아, 이거 이쁘게 즐기자. 어? 저희 또 다이가 열네개예요 갑니다. 가죠. 어, 어떻게, 어떻게. 우와. 어. 야, 근데 여기에서 하나씩 넣는데 나오시면 진짜. 아, 말도 안 돼. 진짜, 진짜 나는 나오지 말자. 아. 네. 어차피 이거 다시 넣으면 돼. 야, 두 번째 게 이상한 거 없어. 두 번째 게. 자, 나머지 다 넣습니다. 와, 이거 어떻게. 자, 첫 번째. 자, 첫 번째. 양세찬이지. 투어 가실 분입니다. 
feel like calling this hand because uh Alright, I regretted it.
와, 어디가 좀 좋아? 다 좋아. 진짜. 어디 좀 좋다. 1, 2, 3. 럭셔리, 좋아. 됐다. 뭐든 좋아, 뭐든 좋아. 스페인, 어. 스페인, 스페인, 좋아. 스페인, 아. 스페인. 멕시코 좋지. 우와 대박이다. 와 맛있겠다. 어. 야, 캐나다 너무 가고 싶었어. 야 죽인다. 스위스. 내가 정말 가고 싶은. 진짜 진짜 가고 싶어요. 영국이 되겠습니다. 큰일 났다. 야, 몰라도 이거 안 걸리면 돼. 안 걸리면, 안 걸리면 돼. 럭셔리 걸리면 돼. 안 걸리면 돼. 나에게도 희망이 있어. 아, 이것도 중요하지만 제일 중요한 건 바로 저거예요. 그죠? 뭐 영국을 가도 어디 가든 상관없습니다. 아, 나 위워킹 못 해. 저거 나 위치 좀 보자. 아, 위워킹 진짜. 아, 못 보겠다. 못 보겠다. 아, 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 열심히 아, 할게요. 아, 진짜 앞으로 진짜 더 열심히 할게요. 한 번만 럭셔리 할게요. 
갑니다. 그러면 자, 진짜 화려하다. 아니, 아, 아니, 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 그러면 이럴 거면 정말 첫주 해서 보내지, 우리를. 왜 사실 이렇게 사람을. 아, 아 묘한 기대하게 하는 거예요. 네? 자, 자, 기자가 나오는 대로 자기가 촬영 준비가 되는 대로 바로 떠날 거고요. 아, 미쳤어. 애기 데리고 가도 돼요? 애기 데리고 가도 돼요? 가족들 데려가고 싶으시면 데려가고 싶으시면 유리 오세요. 와이프 태우면 안 되나? 네. 그렇지. 알게 왜 와이프 대신 타도 됩니까? 대박이다. 대신 와이프. 대신맨 대신맨. 나 아빠. 우리 아빠. 이런 거 좋아하셔. 나 아빠가 좋아하실 것 같아. 좋은 기회인 것 같은데. 아 너무 떨려. 아 보통 아니다 오늘. 전 끝난다 우리 찌. 아니, 야, 너무한 거 아니야? 어, 뭐야? 이거 진짜입니까? 이거 뭐야? 옷을 왜 그렇게. 아, 소름 끼쳐져, 소름 끼쳐져. 와, 징그럽다, 징그러워, 진짜. 이거 미치겠다. 이게 악마다. 와, 진짜 방송 안 되는 거 보여줘? 
Chong and Chan being so shallow. Yeah, just was a little bit surprising given that he was just defending a lot in the back line. So maybe uh, something happened during that last break where he's like, okay, I feel like just uh, playing a little slow. are not defending very wide. If I'm Haxton, I'm just going to raise even, even more hands. Hey, you say it's suited is definitely one of them. It certainly qualifies. It's probably going to make it a min raise, 24,000 again. Raise 24,000. Oh. Winfred holds. Ace King for Chong. He's going to shove on 122. 10 big blinds. Do you think Haxon's going to call here base 8 suited against Chong? Yeah, he's going to have to call here. Based on odds alone. He doesn't yeah. think he has the best hand. No. Too often. But it's, it's 10 big blinds. He's already <laughs> opened the pot. What's funny is this Chan always gets a hand when someone else shoves. And he just has to fold his deuces. So again, he folds. So Hax Isaac Haxon asking for a count. It's about 98,000 98, more chips, so um, it's getting 2 to 1. 122. Doesn't need too much equity to make this call. I call. So he does call. Oh. And we're going to... Haxon needs to hit an 8 to knock out Chong. For you, yeah. you Chong trying to dodge the 8 or the hearts right now. Comes a flop. Oh my gosh. Haxton just flopped so many <laughs> else. Not a bad flop yeah, for Haxton. 47%. Turn is a queen. One more card to go. <laughs> is it a 10, an 8, or a 5 to knock out Chong? And Chong doubles up. Face king. 274,000. <laughs> There now loses 120,000. Actually puts him in a bad spot because he was able to raise up every single hand when he's got that commanding chip lead. But when you get when you lose like 10 big lines, you only have like 40. You have to be careful. Average stack is 24 big lines, 300,000 roughly. Pretty shallow here. I mean, that seven-handed lasted a long time, and lines went up a whole lot on the bubble there, and so now the stacks are pretty shallow at this final table. Actually, the chip leader only has 35 big blinds right now. Steve and Winfred, actually, they pretty much are, like, tied for first. Right? See which one can take the pressure. But they all kind of, when it's so close for the top three stacks, they just they can't run over the table. They need to be careful. Because if they make one more mi mistake or one play where it loses them some stacks, they just have to fold every hand. So Winfred of pocket seven is going to start an open. Here's your guy, Winfred Yu. Well, hey, they always tease Winfred. Make some plays. Chong. Chan is going to be all in of ace 10, snap all in. He's only got five and a half big blinds. Winfred having to try and bust out another short stack. He failed last time. Alright, so he calls. Pocket seven. So Chan is going to be flipping here for his tournament life. Eight three queen, no help for Chan. Chan needs need an ace or a ten. Yeah, it's twenty eight percent chance. That is not one of them. Fourteen percent chance. So it is ace or ten. On his final card, and he's out. 
So Chan is going to be our 6th place finisher. Cash is for 494,000 Hong Kong dollars. Got the min cash. Yeah, he played very well on the bubble, very disciplined, and uh, just couldn't ever really build a stack. He was just always kind of handcuffed because he was on the bubble. And he played very well. He should be very pleased with the way he played. And now your boy uh, Winfred uh, adding to his chip stack here. Does that make him the table chip leader? He should be the table chip leader. He's, as you see, Leong Chan, sixth place. Did very well. I mean, look, he could have busted earlier and got seven. So, you, yes, you're disappointed you busted, but look at the bright side. You didn't get zero dollars. Four thousand. So, so now Winfred, Haxton, and O'Dwyer, the big stacks at the table with uh, Young and Chong, um, being very short stack. So it's an interesting dynamic here. With that bust, our average stack is 29 big blinds now, just increased by 5 BBs. See what. So Winfred actually has really good table position here with direct position on both O'Dwyer Correct. and Haxton. Chong's actually got some chips now. King 10 diamonds. He's going to raise. But before, he's just been like, oh my god, I've just got 10 BBs the whole time. So he's going to raise. Well, Dwyer with Jack 7 off soon, the big line. Call here. He's trying to outplay his opponent on the flop. They have got deep enough stacks where it seems fine to me. He is going to make that call. He's only got 33% to win this pot, though. Does flop a pair of sevens, but Chong's got king 10. Top pair. About 20 big lines. Yes, keep firing. I like it. 30,000. Well, Dwyer in the big line, back seven, just... I guess the standard is to check call, right? Your opponent has 20 big blinds? Certainly. What's the point of raising? Raising just lets your opponent get it in good and no chips in behind. Let's see what Dwyer does. Is he contemplating something else that isn't I, th I think he's. I think he's just posturing right now. He's going to call here for sure. here. I, I really do just like calling here. I think, you know, it's probably like 10 BBs or 12 BBs, sure, just check it out, right? But 20 BBs, it's a lot of chips. What did O'Dwyer start with? 330,000? What if he makes if he makes a play here and loses? He wow. Just all in. He does go all in. I'm not really sure why. And Dwyer has just been going all in so frequently at this point. I mean, Chong's got to call it King Ten. Oh right? yeah, Chong yeah. is going to think this over in it and make the call. Yeah. You know, sometimes you want to make sure. I, I don't think Chong is holding here, but uh, it seems quite aggressive from a Dwyer. It's kind of like you're turning your mid pair into a bluff. Are you trying to get pocket eights to fold and nines and jacks? That's the only reason you would shove it, right? Like a semi-bluff, but I don't think... I mean, if he thinks that Chong is folding King-10... I don't think this is a good semi-bluff. I, I think this is a mistake. Your opponent plays quite straightforward, at least from what I've seen. Do you really need to risk so many chips on him? Yeah, I don't, I don't understand this play at all. <laughs> is probably wondering, when he, I just got back from the break, you're just jack shoving on me? From his point of view, he's worried about like King Jack and King Queen specifically. Um, probably more of a short deck player, so <laughs> he's not too used to no limit hold of tournaments. This is my guess That's why he's taking some time, so give him the benefit of the doubt. I think he's going to come to inclusion. There's too many flush draws yeah, out there. Yeah, so he, he, ma he makes the call and now Dwyer sees he's not in good shape here at all. Dwyer's going to need a jack or a seven. Otherwise, Chung is going to double up here. Chung actually might turn into second or first place here. 
he holds here. He's the Dodger Jack or seven. Turn is a queen. 11% for O'Dwyer. He's a Dodge. There's a wow, Jack on the there's river. a Jack, and Chong has been eliminated. Yeah, even <laughs> he's laughing. Chong, <laughs> Chong is laughing. Everyone's looking around like, nice job, O'Dwyer. Team O'Dwyer gets very lucky there on the river, and he eliminates Chok, Chok Leng Chong in fifth place. 617,000, great result, considering he was short stack for the majority of the final table bubble, but that is, that is a brutal beat for him. Seems like a situation that I wouldn't call standard at all. He just no. lost all his ships. What normally will happen is O'Dwyer will check call, Chong will bet the turn, and O'Dwyer will pull the turn, and then we just go to the next hand. Nope. Now, if there wasn't a flush draw on that flop, do you think Chong can fold King 10 in that instance? I think he can consider. I don't think he would fold. I don't think I would fold either, because it seems so bizarre for someone to just check raise me all in on a non flush draw board. Um, but also that was a little bit bizarre. Check raise Jack Seven here. Uh, I think it's just maybe a little bit of a misstep from O'Dwyer. Maybe O'Dwyer thought Chong had less chips than he actually had. I I don't know. But he made the play, got lucky, got rewarded for it, and Chong is now out. Chong's going to cash for about seventy-eight thousand U.S. dollars. So still a great result. So we'll applaud him for that. Sure, he doesn't play too many Nolan tournaments. And Haxton folds his button with King 5 offsuit. He's been tight in he's general very, on his button. He buttons. very respects O'Dwyer when he's got a lot of chips, I realize. O'Dwyer's got chips? Yeah, he's just playing tight. And O'Dwyer now, chip leader. Just raising 40,000. See what happens. So O'Dwyer was originally the chip leader at the final table. I think O'Dwyer is really good at chipping up, though. Like, at least he's always applying maximum pressure on everyone. Sure, sometimes he's risking a lot of big wides. Uh, but if if uh, they don't if they don't resist, if they just fold to O'Dwyer, O'Dwyer is going to chip up like 10, 15 big wides. Like, See what happens. I know Isaac Haxon is the type of guy who just doesn't doesn't really like letting someone have their way at the table. So I think we should see him resist. Haxon, Jack Tensuda under the gun. Ace 10 offsuit. He's gonna call, he's gonna re-raise the spot. Would love to see Winfred do that actually. I think he gets a lot of respect. He is gonna reach a re-raising chips. You gotta like this from Winfred. I think he plays his image really well. Like sure he makes some tight moves, but like this is gonna get so much credit, right? That ace 10 offsuit. Yeah, we saw him do this earlier out of the small blind with King Jack, so it seems like he doesn't like to take complete garbage. He likes, you know, hands that have a couple Broadway cards that are reasonably strong when he chooses to three bet and mix it up. And now Isaac Haxton has to be thinking, this is a standard peel here with Jack-10 suited, but he has to be thinking, you has been so snug. Yeah, uh, I think this is called against most people, but against Winfred, I wouldn't really fault him for folding here. Like, Winfred's image has been tight. I think he's thinking about that. And that's why I really like the three bet from Winfred here. Just should it get so much respect. I doubt I would ever play back at him at this moment. But he's gonna make the call just because he's got Jack 10 suited. People just don't like holding Jack 10 suited. He is dominated. Yeah, I mean so. this is this is a standard call here. Now you kind of been <laughs> Uncharted territory here, being out of position, having three bet pre-flop. But look at this. This is the flop where if you're Winfred, 
Just throw out like 55,000, 60,000 and you win this pot instantly. No one's going to float you on king high board when you 3 bet because they always put you on ace king. Unless they have a flush draw or straight draw. But I mean, I think Isaac Haxon will fold like ace queen and ace jack on this flop. So good to see Winfred going, going for this flop. Just like ace 10 high. Deny his opponent from making a move. Got to respect this. 75,000 in there. And, Win and Haxton just holds in. A good job from Winfred. Your horse wins a pot for my horse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been saying this over and over again. You know, sure, maybe you don't have as much experience as some of these pros. I think Winfred knows that, like, Isaac Jackson's, like, extremely strong player. Yeah, but you got to use your strength. If your strength is, yeah, you're coming off as a tight player, just push, to push it a little bit and steal some pots when you can. Well, Dwyer's going to assume he's going to fold Jack-5. He does. Winfred on a button with Ace-3 offsuit. We are currently playing four-handed, right? Four-handed. So ace three is going to be an all the way. Gonna make it twenty-seven thousand. Richard Yong folds over to Isaac Haxton, Jack Five offsuit. Should be a fold, but is he gonna consider defending? I know some players do defend this and some players fold. It's yeah, I, like think, I think he'll fold here, especially since it's four-handed and the antis, therefore, the net antis, therefore, aren't, aren't that large. But don't you feel like Isaac Haxton is just going to do the opposite and see a flop? He just really seems like he's going to call, doesn't he? Isaac's calling. All right, see a flop. He I comes. He wants revenge. I think we should just stop predicting what Isaac Haxton's going to do. <laughs> often you just flop nothing here literally nothing Winfred bottom pair he's been setting these bottom pairs and ace highs so but this time he actually checks Turn is a deuce Haxon still has nothing he could take a stab trying to move people off of his ace 5 ace 7 type hands I would not like to bet here for my yeah. there are just so many better semi bluff candidates for him to bet here that if he's Bluffing with a Jack Five offsuit, he'd just be way over bluffing. Well, he might. <laughs> Doesn't it seem like he's going to bet? <laughs> it does seem like he's going to bet. See, it looks like he's Kane, reaching for chips. Whatever you say, Isaac's going to do the opposite <laughs> right now. <laughs> so he does bet twenty thousand. We saw him do something similar against O'Dwyer when he had the Queen Nine. Now Winfred here, he has bottom pair, the Ace Kicker. I think he needs to field his small bet. And he is nice call by Winfred here. He just realizes people are trying to push him around a bit. And I like the adjustment he's making. He might have made this fold in the past, but now it's doing good. So Winfred calls the turn. Haxton with just jack five high. Probably felt obligated to bet the turn once he defended his hand pre flop. If he bets again, it might get through. Six of spades on the river. Haxton is going to bluff this river. No, he checks. Oh my gosh. Whatever you say, he Haxton does the will opposite. do the opposite. So. See Winfred here. He's got bottom pair. He's actually considering turning his hand into a bluff. I believe considering he has a spade, but I don't think he needs to. He beats too many missed heart draws, straight draws. And yeah, nice check there. Winfred chips up. Six I'm not sure why Haxton bet that turn though. He's got Jack Five high. He defended the. You didn't think he should defend the big blind. He did. So he just kind of felt like he just needs to take a stab. I don't. I'm not really in love with it. And then as played, I think I would have barreled the river there. Winfred, you is just showing like how well he's just adapting to the table, understands his image, you know, picking off some small blocks here and there, making some moves. 
<laughs> Willis wins. He wins 12% of his stack last hand. He's playing great. You know, he's like, he's not a professional poker player. But, you know, he's, he's, he's a a serious fan of the game. You know, he plays pretty good. Richard Only Yong. Yong now. Ace Queen suit. If you want to raise, I like this. Keep it consistent. If you're gonna raise like Ace Three offsuit, might as well raise Ace Queen suited. A little more than 14 big blinds, and O'Dwyer now with King Jack suited in the big blind. I think he's gonna go all in. Yeah, this is this is a slam dunk O'Dwyer shove all in. Yeah. Like if he doesn't shove here, I'm just walking out of the booth. <laughs> go on. Yeah. He does go all in. Richard Young calls. Young calls and. Calls. Hold on. King Jack versus Ace Queen suited. O'Dwyer has 39%. There's a queen on the flop. Bad news for O'Dwyer. He does have some backdoors. Backdoor diamonds. Backdoor straight. Looks for the king now exclusively. 7%. There's a deuce, so Richard Yong is going to double up. It's a close tournament. Actually, it might be even in chips now, huh? After Yong O'Dwyer. and O'Dwyer? Yeah. I think O'Dwyer still has a little bit more, but uh, yeah, it's been a swingy final table I'm for O'Dwyer. Roller coaster. That's what happens when you go all in so frequently. Richard Young still, still the uh, short stack at the table. He's up to 360,000 chips now, or 30 big blinds. Dwyer asking Haxton if he would have just hauled in that spot. Of all the times O'Dwyer had shoved, I think that that's probably the most fun duck of a shove. Yeah, I like that shove a lot. So actually, Isaac Haxton is now the table short stack. Haxton with just over 20 big blinds. Win for you. It's the big stack of this table. Over to Haxton, Queen Jack. 21 big blinds on the button. Guess it's just an open raise. I know. I think some people actually just open shove here. I think I just like the open raise though, personally. Yeah, I like open raising as well, especially with you in the big blind. And now O'Dwyer pocket fixes. I imagine O'Dwyer's gonna three bet here and call against Paxton, but fold if there's any resistance from you. Yep, uh, I think before we saw, I think we saw Haxton just three bet shove. I think that would be a mistake given that you used a huge tank and he could accidentally run into aces. So just make it like, I don't know, 70,000? Call shove from Haxton. Yeah, I completely sense. agree. Yep. Because, and also the way Fred's been playing, it's not like he sees O'Dwyer raise 70k. It's like, oh, I can make him fold a big hand and just make it 150k. No. You gotta know your opponents, too. 150? 150k. Wow. That's actually a really big raise. Yeah. I don't think he needs to make it that big. I think he can make it maybe 100k, right? Like just save the 50k. I, I liked your sizing, 70 a whole yeah, lot I more. Yeah, I like 70, but I'd go 145k before 150. <laughs> I don't know. I just think it's a little bit unnecessary. The only reason I like the 150, it's not, I wouldn't choose it though, is that he's basically telling Old Dwyer, I'm committed to this pot, so don't shove on me with two overs and, and just make sure he folds. He's telling that to you. Well, I'm, I'm saying, like, yeah, O'Dwyer, so he makes 150k, Isaac Haxton's going to be like, well, I know he's not going to fold if I shot Okay. But say he makes a 70k, he actually, the reason that 
when hacks, if hacks and shoves in Eldrara would hold, he could kind of avoid that two overcards to just shovel on him. So I think uh, I can see that reasoning. I think he can have that same effect, though, by making a 100k and 150. Sure. So just like small little adjustments I would <coughs> make. Okay. Ace-King suited for Eldrara. He's actually at 600,000 again. Despite, like. I just feel like I just saw him lost a big pot. How does he have 600,000 again? Oh, Dwyer wins a lot of pots, huh? Five do suited. I'm not, I don't think he's gonna open this, but I wouldn't no. mind if he did. Pocket Jack and Hexen. He's gonna get a walk, walk with him. Yeah. <laughs> it's really nice Hexen's world. Get a walk with Jax. Mm -hmm. Seemed a little sad. Alright, so fourth place is gonna win what, 864,000 Hong Kong dollars. Seems pretty good. That's uh, it's more than 100k US. 88,000. 388's been what I've been saying. So here's you. He's a big stack of the table. He has ace to six, and he just lets it go. I would have liked to see him raise it. Yeah, he's playing a little bit snug. But Young though, taking advantage of his position, raising up Jack oh. seven offsuit on the button. Yeah, I kind of will raise a six with the four-handed. You know, Winfred just playing like Winfred. Five four is going to see a flop. Oh. Now it's going to be O'Dwyer versus Richard Young. Heads up. That's a gut shot. So Richard Young actually likely to lose this pot. I don't think O'Dwyer is going to hold five high. He's got inside straight draw. Now you might be thinking, why would someone call with five high and just a pretty bad draw? The reason is Richard Young's expected a continuation bet a very wide range, so like Jack Seven, a lot of garbage, and he's also expected not to two barrel. So what happens is bad continuation bets. Oh, is he going check raise? I kind of prefer check calling. I I'll, prefer check call also. I'll tell you why. So what continuation bet happens? You check call. The guy who, if he's bluffing, usually never two barrels ace three three rainbow. He goes check check on the turn. You bet anything and you just win the reverse. Richard Young to play it here. Oh, I like this. Richard Young. See, sometimes you might be like, you gotta respect these players that seem like oh they're just playing a bit straightforward. But Richard Young is. I like this. So you can't push me around. It actually makes zero sense why the wire is raising. Did he repop him? Yes. Wow, Richard Young comes back over the top and takes it down. Did he show him the cards too? I had a lot worse. He shows the Jack 7. And yeah. I mean, that's that's part of the reason why we want to check call the flop with the 4 or 5 there. It's, it's just we're repping so much, many more hands. The wire is basically only trying to rep a 3. Uh, whereas if we check call the flop there with a 4 or 5, we could also rep ace 5, right? Right, ace 7, and ace x, as well as potentially pocket deuces. Pocket sevens. And like I said, like when you continuation bluff ace three three rainbow and someone check calls you, you just almost never two barrel. Because your opponent has an ace like so often, you're not gonna try to bluff them off that and you can just, it goes it's gonna go check check on a turn. You're gonna bet a little bit and you can win that pot oh ninety five percent of the time. Yeah, that's right. But great play by Richard Young. Well, he's playing. That's a great play. You know, some people, they're just, a lot of people, they're like, oh, I'm at the final table. I put in so many chips. 
I don't. I didn't put too many chips in here. I'm just gonna fold to a check raise and Richard Yang able to find the play. There. Raises queen jack. Oh, that's a for you if jack ten suited. He's gonna see a flop here. Young now with top pair on this monotone board. He goes ahead and bets, undeterred by the spades out there, takes it down. I mean, Richard Young, he did kind of table the, the one-drop event at the World Series one year. So it's no stranger to high binds. He's playing great. Isaac Paxson, Ace Deuce. Let that one go. Old Dwyer, Queen Five. Some blinds. Not gonna push Richard Young out of this pot. See a flop. Both players flopping nothing, so actually old Dwyer is probably gonna win this pot. Okay. He bets here. Expect him to put what, 25k in here, maybe 27. 22k. Oh. Steve O'Dwyer and Winford Yu neck and neck for the chip lead here. First place finisher of this tournament will take home over three million Hong Kong dollars. Second place will still very, very good payout, about two million Hong Kong dollars. All these players have guaranteed eight hundred and seventy-five thousand Hong Kong dollars. And here's O'Dwyer with snowmen. <laughs> I didn't really get to hear what the dealer theory changed I theory know. is the wire. Unfortunately, I'm kind of curious. Winfred, five of spades. He's gonna get out of line. Look at this. You gotta respect Winfred's playing his image. I wonder actually what's gonna happen. Preflop. So he's gonna re-raise seventy-five thousand, seventy eighty thousand. 80. A little bit more. I think that's pretty good. 82,000. 82, I, I like this 3-bit, actually. You know, again, he's got that image. He knows those players are raising a bunch of junk hands. So, under normal circumstances, this is a very easy call for Steve O'Dwyer, but it might be different here with Yu's image. I don't think O'Dwyer is going to fold, actually. I'm almost certain he won't fold. Just... I think a lot of times O'Dwyer would shove on a lot of people, but I think because he's not too sure how tight Winfred's been, he's just not sure if he's up against a good hand. I think he's just going to call and try and play this flop. Call. Play pot out of position. So yeah, he is going to call. I think if he was playing against Paxton, he actually might shove on him pre flop. Um, but against Winfred, he's going to call. So. 
Even though Winfred would would is you would you fold there ever? With eights? Yeah. Maybe not. Uh, we have a lot of stack left, but let's just go to the flop for now. Winfred flops mid pair, backdoor flush draw. I think he should bet here, right? No, I would I would check. You think check? Yeah. We'll see what he does. I think he's gonna bet. I might check. Check and pretend you have ace king and just call call some whiffs. Yeah, I'd be be pretty happy to check here. I don't expect to get value from worse. And well, he is gonna bet. Hundred and five thousand. Yeah, it's seems alright. He's not gonna get a better hand to fold too often. Right, that's why yeah. I, don't, I don't really see the purpose of the bet. But he has a lot of turn cards that can actually semi block a better hand off. So spade, right? <laughs> the turns. King of spades coming off. He shoves. You think O'Dwyer's gonna call the eights? I don't think so. Queen of spades coming off. He's gonna sh call? I doubt it. Even ace of spades, right? It'd be a great two sure, barrel you're just, you're, just, block. you're just putting in your whole stack, hoping that a spade is gonna come on the turn instead of checking back your, your hands here where, you know, in general, just in the spot, I think when you bets here, he's going to get better hands to continue and worse hands to fold. I will say that it does make your hand easier to play. It doesn't mean that it's a better play, but it does make it easier for Winfred. He may not have as much you know, like experience in post-flop three-bet plots in tournaments, so it might be a better play for him because he might feel like he's he might fold the best hand on accident on turns of reverse, but he does make Call. Let's see the turn. Turn is a spade. Eight actually. of spades. Let's see. Let's see if we, let's see if uh, you goes with your shoving any well, turn I think spades. He, I think he, he's gonna shove this turn. He's got a pot size though. Turn is pretty much the best card in the deck. I think checking would be okay because eight actually kind of makes like pocket nines like their hand a bit more. He just shove. He does go all in. Dwyer makes a call and. Dwyer's about a 2-1 to one favorite here in this pot, but plenty of outs for you. Winfred is at risk right now. <laughs> no, I was not hoping to see that. <laughs> wow. 7-5 with spades. He's got 32%. Here comes the river card. Oh, it's an ace on river, and Winfred actually busts. I think I barely have you on you. Wow, sick. Wow. Winfred, like, he made a play out, Dwyer. I mean, the 8 is like the best card for O'Dwyer to call. Can he, I don't know if he can call many turns if he didn't turn that set, right? Good game for Winfred. He cashes for about 110,000 US dollars, 864,000 know, he made. He knows he has a tight image. He made a play. It didn't work out. That's just part of the game. But when you turn that card, you threw it by hand like 7 by suited. How can you... Do you think actually O'Dwyer would call like Jack 10 on the turn? Maybe with Winfred's image no. he wouldn't, right? No, so, I think he'd probably fold. So actually this shove is is pretty good. He just happened to run into Pot of eights. But good game for Winfred. Yeah, I think as played the turn shove is good. Again, I would have preferred for him to check back the flop, but I do like the three bet pre-flop and overall Winfred you played very well. And now O'Dwyer with over a million chips. The first time in the tournament somebody's had over a million chips. He's got a million chips. Winfred definitely tried to play his best game there. He thought he played well. So O'Dwyer, massive chip leader. I mean, he's looking to take away this tournament. Three hundred. Richard Young, Isaac Hansen, Steve O'Dwyer. I think action's on Richard Young right now. Winfred, talk to me about your final table. Uh, final table has been a tough and long one, and with all the good players on it. And I think the uh, the both double time really works on a lot. And I think I. Missed a few opportunities at that time. Uh, this hand, I think, uh, on the final hand, um, it could be an all-in and not an all-in, but I think, um, with that turn card already uh, prepared with a space and a straight shot, definitely was hoping for a seven, and, you know, to, to give me a, a 
uh, trips, but you know, not then hoping to. Uh, when when Steve called the uh, the flop, I think he got me beat on the flop. I didn't know it was only by that much. Um, hoping I can you know push away a top bear or an over bear. And it didn't happen. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. Have you been playing too much short deck and you weren't paying attention here? No, 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 no. <laughs> short deck, I think, is just uh, new and upcoming. Everybody's trying to pay attention to that and learn. Um, still, you know, I enjoy both. I did uh, just, I was told to you that there's going to be another tournament in Korea. So we're going to have more short deck coming up. And probably a, uh, a fuller schedule, in, uh, especially in Asia, where we're closer to our home and more um, Asian players will be interested to join. I'm looking forward to it. I'll see you over there then. Awesome, thank you very much. Thank you. Back to you guys. Hey, it's good to see Win. How would you...